Hi Aquarius, this is Jeffrey, this is Red Color. This is your reading for the week of March 7th through the 14th, 2021. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. I'm offering 30 minute readings for $30. All the information is below. Okay. One more. Let's see what's going on for you. Oh, and thank you to all my subscribers and to all the people watching. Thank you. I appreciate it. I love doing it. I really do. I love doing it. Okay. So before I start, I want to say I had started the reading and then the birds were so like crazy loud and I was I'm making tea and it wasn't exactly on the burner. So I was making all this noise. So I had to stop it and I had to start again. And I was like, well, let me just start again because I walked away from the camera. And last time I got the tower and this time I got the tower. So I guess it's supposed to come through. All right. The six. Swords, the tower, the 10 of cups. This is really, wow. Okay, so the six of swords, uh, the six of swords is about going to a new place, obviously. It's about leaving a way of thinking and going sort of into the unknown. But you're leaving trouble and you're going into smooth. That's the important thing. You're leaving trouble, you're going into the smooth. And this is really thought. Then you get the tower. So the, the tower is an upheaval. The tower is some sort of upheaval, some sort of um, unexpected um, kind of outside force that comes through that's like um, pretty dra dramatic. Then you get this. So, and, and this is the Ten of Cups. This is emotional fulfillment in, it, in its ultimate embodiment. So, I think there's going to be a big, big decision to be made. And I think you're going to make the right decision. Um, but it might be a bit messy. You know, let, let, let it fall where it may. Let it fall where it may. Because uh, this, is, this is really big. And it is like you can't, sometimes, you know, the universe comes in and shakes us up to such an extent that there's no way around it. That there's no way around it. And you have to remember also that you're going, like this is really, this is really profound, this card. So for me, this card is, um, you know, they're leaving their land and people don't leave their land. You know, if you're a millionaire, billionaire, and you go from your house in the Bahamas to your house in Baritz to your house in, you know, rural, mountain, wherever. That's not what this is. <laughs> that's not what this is. <clears throat> I feel like, I always feel like this is, this is uh, his child, but this is his mother. This is what I always get from this card. This is his mother. So the mother, the, being the matriarch, she made the final decision. She's like, you know what? We tried, but the volcano went off. So like, we really got to go. There's no, you know, like, so she made the final decision. So, you know, if something that is really overwhelming happens or really um, it feels like everything's crashing down around you, Call on the matriarch. So call on Mother Earth. Call on um, 
either your mother or your grandmother or that energy, that energy of, uh, of, div of the crone, like the energy of the crone, because that is what's going to lead you out of the trouble. So this could be somebody dead or alive. And, you know, sometimes when I do a reading, I say, well, your mother, and they're like, oh, I don't really get along with my mother. Okay. Um, it's, it, it's, it, it's kind of the mother earth. It's kind of the mother earth, or it could be like an ancestor um, that has that divine feminine wisdom and nurturing and love. That's who to call on, you know, because it might not be your mother, but, blah, blah, blah. you know, for me, my mother's been dead a long time, uh, like 30, 30, yeah, more than, it, it's more than 30 years. And um, when she was alive, they, it was very volatile, believe me. I, I can't even get into how volatile it was. But now that she's been dead a long time, she, um, the best of what she has to offer is what comes through. Because, uh, you know, it was complicated. It was complicated, to say the least. So, you know, there's a certain wisdom that she had and a certain understanding and a certain determination and a certain that I'm able to call upon and uh, access and use as opposed to, you know, focusing on uh, you know, it, it's like you have a beautiful bouquet of incredible flowers, but the boss is a little messed up. So you're going to concentrate on the beautiful flowers. You're going to concentrate on the cracked boss. You know. And sometimes, you know, when the tower comes through, it's almost like our, it, it, it shakes you up because it, it has to get you out of a certain, you're vibrating at a different frequency you're vibrating at a different frequency. So it's time to like move into a place that is more um, emotionally fulfilling. So I pulled it twice. The thing is about the tower, you know, it's like, it's very easy to see it very negative, la la la. Now, if you look really close, you see all these. This is a yud. A yud is the smallest um, and kind of most powerful letter in the Hebrew alphabet. It, it's 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 like it's like the J sound, the Y sound in English, the Y sound. Um, it's the first name in God. It's the first letter in God's name. It's a spark. the The Hebrew alphabet is based in um, the configuration of flame. It's pretty heavy. <laughs> So it's like the little spark. So, and you, you get this in a couple of cards, but it's very prominent here. It's almost like there are certain trees that need the forest fire in order to spread their seeds and they have to burn completely. And that opens up the pot and goes. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like, can I get a job making uh, sound effects? That'd be great. Um, that's what's going on. So um, it's a total change. But what it's leading toward is um, emotional fulfillment. So know that, so know that. You know, in the middle of it, when you're in the middle of something that's, you know, overwhelming or traumatizing or whatever, sort of like, this is never gonna end. Of course it'll end, everything ends. You know, everything transform, everything ends. You know, that's also the wisdom of the crone. The wisdom of the crone is understanding that everything's a cycle. Everything's a cycle. It, it, you know, like time does not move like this. Time moves like this. And having that profound understanding and knowing when to hang on and knowing when to let go. So there you go. Blessings to you, you know, you're, queer, you're very strong, you're very strong. So I have no doubt that you're going to move through this, you know? And sometimes we don't move through things gracefully. 
so what? As long as you move through it, you know, as long as you get to the other side of the river, who cares? Who cares? Oh, the boat break down, the, I lost my luggage. Your primary concern is to get to the other side of the river. You know, whether you have your clothes on or not. So, blessings to you. <laughs>